Hey everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another what I wore in a week. I love filming these videos because it gets me up, it gets me going and trying on different outfits for different occasions. Predominantly working from home, running errands, but then also if I've got a date night coming up or something or I'm going out for a meal, it's nice to show you guys some more dressy outfits mixed with the casual wear. So that's what we're doing this week. So I'm actually starting this video on Wednesday today. So it's a lovely day here in Manchester. It's actually really warm outside. So I'm working from home today and I've got this lovely little casual outfit on, which I will show you in a minute. But I just wanted to talk about today's sponsor for this video, which I'm so excited to be working with. Honestly, they're one of my favorite jewelry brands. Every time I film a YouTube video, I always start with my jewellery and always talk about how much it elevates your outfits and this is a brand that I absolutely adore. So the brand is Majuri and I've got four pieces to show you today which are just stunning and I know you guys are going to love them. So if you guys haven't heard of Majuri before, they are a beautiful, minimal yet playful jewellery brand and their whole ethos is jewellery for you. It's all about you treating yourself to jewellery and kind of redefining the way women buy jewellery and that is for themselves. So this is something I'm all for and I know you guys will love the brand just as much as me. So I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start at the top and then work my way down. So I'm going to start with this dainty little piece that I have here and I'm going to do a zoom in of this one so you can see. This gorgeous little piece here is the Cartilage Pave Diamond diamond mini hoop and I can't even tell you how lightweight this is. I've been wearing this all week. I've been sleeping in it and I actually forget it's there because it's so lightweight. This is something I've been looking for to be able to wear every day. Just leave it in, not take it out and it still look absolutely gorgeous and go with all of my other pieces that I wear. So this particular piece is made from 14 karat gold, so it won't oxidise or discolour. And with it being a paved diamond setting, it sits flat on the hoop, as you can see here. So it doesn't irritate your skin underneath because it sits really nice and lovely just on the top layer. So you've got that really subtle detailing on there on the 14 karat gold, which is just beautiful. All the diamonds are sourced responsibly from suppliers who follow conflict-free and socially responsible practices. So I feel like with this little piece, I've definitely found my forever helix earring because I never take it out. The only reason I took my last one out is because it wasn't great quality and it did start to discolour and oxidise and I know I'm not going to get that with this. So that is definitely one you're going to be seeing in every single video for sure. And the next little piece I want to talk about are these beautiful diamond pearl studs here. As soon as I saw these pearls, I fell in love with them because I thought these are great for the everyday or you can save them for those special occasions. I think these are definitely going to be a pair that I'm going to be wearing to my wedding as well because I'm going to have some really nice gold earrings in and then because I've had this second piercing I want something subtle to go with the rest of my jewellery and I think this is just the perfect little stud I absolutely love it so this again is handcrafted in 14 karat gold and is set with a fresh water pearl and a single diamond so you've got that real subtle luxury in this piece which I absolutely love and finally going on to my favourite piece I blooming love these hoops. So these are the croissant dome hoops, which are just so beautiful. They are Parisian inspired and they're just such a classic piece. I feel like these are never gonna go out of style and they're always gonna be timeless in your jewelry wardrobe. I just love them. So these ones are actually handcrafted in gold vermeil, which is a thick 18 karat gold layer on sterling silver, which means it will last longer and you're getting the look and feel of gold jewelry for a fraction of the price. So this finishing is a really great alternative if you don't quite have the budget for buying 100% gold, then gold vermeil is definitely the best option. And then finally, we've got this beautiful gold croissant dome ring as well. So this matches the earrings perfectly. How beautiful is this ring? It is just so gorgeous. 
I love these classic vintage looking pieces that are so Parisian inspired. It's just so my style and it's going to be a ring that I'll definitely wear every day. So this again is made in gold vermeil. So we've got that lovely long lasting coating on there and it matches these gorgeous hoops perfectly. So these are the four pieces I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the week and showing you guys how versatile they are, how you can dress them up, dress them down and how great they are for everyday wear. So that's jewellery done. I'm now going to show you guys the rest of the outfit. So first up, we've got this lovely diagonal stripe H&M silky shirt. You guys know I love a silky shirt and I saw this and I had to have it. I've been waiting for it to come in stock for a while now because I want to wear this to the airport and they only had a large so I was like, you know what, I love an oversized shirt. It's actually okay. I mean, I probably could have got away with a medium but I do really like the drop shoulder feel the longer line fit and you know I can tuck it in as well if I want that kind of like half fitted style half kind of relaxed so this is going to be something I can wear to the beach as well over my swimsuit and bikinis so yeah love that anyway not only is it great for holiday but it's great for working from home as well because it's super breathable nice and light super soft and cozy so a few questions i get asked a lot is being a petite girl how do you wear oversized things all the time and this is kind of like how i wear it really then you can just tuck a little bit in and just have that really like relaxed feel or if you don't want the whole like fully oversized look with the wide legs then you can just wear a black tank underneath and layer this over the top and then i've teamed it with my plissé trousers now these are a size small and they're a little bit big for me in the length and the waist so i've just tucked it under so then we've got a really nice um length when teaming it with these shoes which i'll show you in a minute but i just really like this combination so i am waiting for the trousers of this shirt to come in stock and then that will be my airport outfit but for now i just thought you know what work with what i've got and team it with these plissé trousers which are another working from home piece that i just love wearing and then shoe wise i'm actually wearing my newest edition so with every summer shoe i get in i like to wear them in around the house because then i can do the test for you guys and also for my feet as well if i'm going to be wearing them a lot i want to make sure they're comfortable and so far so good i love these they're from and other stories and they're a gorgeous um, linen blend, like flat form. So this is something I've been after for a while now. And I saw these when I went in last week and tried them on and thought, these are gonna be something that's gonna go with so many of my outfits for the summer months. So this is how I'm styling them today, just to get my wear out of them around the house. And then I can report back to you guys on how comfy they are. But so far, so good. And they give us petite girls a bit of height as well. That's what I love. So that is Wednesday's look. I hope you liked it. Nice and casual for me today with me working from home. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another outfit. Good morning, loves. It is Thursday today and it is hair wash day tomorrow so hence why the hair is up in a little claw clip but today i am popping into town I've got some errands to run i've got to do a lot of returns and also i need to post my vintage parcels so if you guys don't know i've switched over from depop to vintage because the depop fees were just getting ridiculous and i'm selling my things on there so i will pop my vintage shop below as well but yeah lots of summer bits ready for you guys and your holidays if you're interested in getting any pieces second hand i will pop the link below so that is today's plan and then i'm going to come back and hopefully film a reel i don't know I'm still feeling like really exhausted. I was so poorly a couple days ago and it's like really taking it out of me. So I'm just trying to take it slow this week, but still get things done at my own pace. So the weather today is really weird because it keeps going in and out with the sunshine, but it's warm outside. So I'm kind of dressing half for spring with a hint of summer today. That is the vibe we're going for. So I've got my trusty Zara body on. I have had this for years. It comes out 
all year round to be honest i wear it so much and it's just super comfortable i love wearing this and then i've got this little vintage belt with my high-waisted trousers as well i love these you guys will have seen these so much on my channel they're super old now but i've seen quite a lot of new in pieces which are very similar to these so i'll link them below and then my trusty M&S platforms love these I love that they're black and tan as well which just allows me to mix up my accessories a little bit more which I've done today and then I'm actually going to finish the look with a blazer because I was going to go out just like this but it is a little bit chilly I wish it was warmer but it isn't so today I've gone for my pretty lavish beige blazer I just wanted something a little bit different to my H&M one because I've been wearing that loads recently and I've been neglecting this one a little bit so this just gives me more of a tailored fit and it pairs really nicely with my wide legs so I've gone for that I'm really loving all these tones together as well and then I'm going to team it with my Loewe basket bag I just think the basket bag adds that little bit of summer to any spring outfit so this is what we're going with today i'm really enjoying this outfit i feel very put together but also relaxed as well with the flat forms and the basket bag and then for earrings i've just kept it nice and simple and gone with my majuri dome hoops and obviously left my helix one in there because this one's never coming out and then my dome ring as well and finally my sunglasses so i've actually gone with a different pair today and these are from asos i love the rectangular shape of these i just think they really finish the look it ties really nicely in with my claw clip and top and then we've got the brown tones from the belt bag and the shoes i'm going to sort this pesky baby hair out and then i'm going to head into town so that is today's look i really hope you like it I will link everything below as always and offer alternatives for these of course and I will see you tomorrow for Friday's look. Hey loves, happy Friday. So this is today's look. We've gone very simple and minimal again because I'm working from home today and I want to be comfy but also with a hint of spring summer too. So we've got this super cute little silk shirt from lily silk this is honestly so soft and gorgeous to wear in the warmer months i love this little piece and then i've teamed it with my favorite h&m trousers which you guys will have seen lots of recently and also h&m have actually just brought these out in a linen blend so if you guys are looking for a really nice length tapered trouser um in linen then check those out i'll link them below and then my newest addition are these gorgeous sandals from Russell and Bromley. So you can tie them up the ankle, but because you can't really see the detail when I've got the trousers down, I've just decided to tie them a little bit around the bottom, but they're so gorgeous. I love the dainty details of this. Very different shoe from yesterday's chunky look, but I feel like I wanted to mix it up a bit today. Nothing exciting is really happening today. I'm literally just going to be working at my laptop. All my work's been approved for the week, which I'm very happy with. And then me and Lee are going to go and do a food shop. So I'll probably be taking this bag with me. So I've been wanting a dragon diffusion bag for a while now. It's on my wish list. But then I saw this from Mango and it's such a good dupe. It's amazing. And this was, I think it was 70 and the dragon diffusion ones are around 370. So it saved me 300 pounds at the minute. I am going to treat myself to a dragon one, but for now, I just think this is a great option and it's real leather as well so it's going to last we've got a little pouch in there as well so you can keep things nice and safe but yeah i just love it this is definitely going to come on holiday with me as well i think it's just a great summer addition and i love the woven detail of this it's just so pretty very happy with this find indeed as always i've got my majuri jewelry in I've popped the little pearls in today as well. So we've got those and my ring as well. I really love this look. And it's just nice and easy. And it's something you could wear over the weekend as well. If you guys are going out for the day this weekend. Because the weather's going to be glorious. 
then you can try something like this if you've got anything similar in your wardrobe. Anyway, I'm gonna go crack on with work now and I will see you tomorrow for Saturday's look. Happy Saturday, the sun is shining, it's 19 degrees and I'm finally in a dress. I'm so happy. So this is today's little number. I've had this for about four years now and I love it because it's got pockets. It's a gorgeous jersey fabric and it's just so easy to wear. We've got this beautiful tie detail at the back as well. And then you can button it up, but I can never, I have to get Lee to do that because I can never reach it. So this is from Me and M. They unfortunately don't do it anymore, but I feel like this tiered style always comes back around every summer. So I will link some other options below for you. And then I've teamed it with my Loewe basket bag. For reference, this is the medium sized one. And then I've got these lovely little sandals, which are a great dupe for the Hermes sandal. These are from Accessorize, but I got them off ASOS. And I'm usually a five, but I actually ended up getting these in a four and they fit really well. I've gone with the black and tan theme again today, but this dress always comes out for me and teamed with a basket bag. It's just like the ultimate summer look. So we're gonna go for a little wander near where we live and then just see where the day takes us really. And then we might go out for like a drink maybe after. I don't know whether I'm gonna change outfits, so I will let you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later, maybe for a change. I'm not sure yet, but if not, I will see you on Sunday. Hello, I'm back with a quick outfit change. I don't know where my microphone is, so sorry if this sounds really loud. Um, it is six o'clock, so we're just gonna head back out and maybe go to our little local, go for a little wander, take Bruno. I just wanted to get changed and I really wanted to show you this top, so I've changed into this. It is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with orange at the minute and it's this lovely rib, like this thick rib knit top from Pixie Market and then it's doubled up here as well so you don't really need to wear a bra which is brilliant and then we've got the little cross detail at the back it's just beautiful I love this this is definitely coming away with me it feels like I'm wearing a swimsuit so it's super comfy and then again I know you're probably sick of these now but my lovely H&M trousers. I've kept the same sandals on and my Loewe bag. And then I've found these old sunglasses that I've had for years from Under the Stories. I love the little hint of orange in them. So I thought they go really well with this look. So yeah, it is blooming boiling. It's so nice. It feels like summer. So I thought I'd have a little switch up out of the dress and try something a bit different. Um, and I feel like this is a perfect little combo with a bit of colour because I realised throughout this video I've just been wearing loads of black and I thought I need to just inject a bit of colour in now the weather's warmer. That is the look for Saturday evening, kind of, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, guys. So me and Lee have been cleaning all morning and I finally got dressed into something a little bit more put together, if you will. So I've basically been wearing this top from weekday, which you know, I love my basics from weekday and my trusty Arquette joggers. So it wasn't very exciting. I was literally in a vest top and joggers. So I've got changed into something still comfy, but a little bit nicer. And we're gonna take Bruno to the park, so Fingers crossed it's not gonna rain. The weather's been mental today. It's so warm, but it's like forecast to rain and then it's sunny and then it's cloudy. And I'm like, what do you even wear? I also am having a makeup free day because I've been wearing makeup for like four days in a row now. And there's days where I'm like, I can't have it on my skin. I just need to have my skincare on. Get my face all ready and fresh for holiday. But anyway, I'm gonna start waffling now and show you my outfit. So, as I said earlier, I've got my basic vest on from weekday. I got this in a size small. And then I've just thrown my Arquette linen shirt over the top. I've had this for, I think I got it last year, and it actually comes with the matching shorts, but I've left those in Lanzarote. Like everything else, 
in my summer wardrobe it's all over there so i'm gonna ask lisa to bring those back for me so because this is an oversized fit i stuck to my true size and got this in an eight it is quite long line as well which i really like so you can wear it on holiday over bikinis and stuff which is something i often do and then in the spring summer months you can replace your blazer with it and wear it as like a shirt jacket and then i've teamed it with these beige linen shorts from and other stories so i've had these for about a year now as well and i just love the fit of them i got these in a size six they've got a lovely elasticated waist and self fabric belt and i love wearing these with black and white i actually wore them last year with my white linen shirt so these are going to come on holiday with me for sure and then because i've been wearing these around the house i'm going to take them for a spin outside they're so comfy by the way i absolutely love russell and bromley shoes you guys know that from my other video so these are definitely a firm favorite i needed some flat sandals and these are a great pair to wear with this look and going into the summer months with all your summer dresses as well so they're such a staple for me so yeah that is today's look we're gonna go to the park take bruno for a little walk before it starts to rain because i have a bad feeling it's gonna start tipping it down but i wanted to make most of this gorgeous weather because i think it's gonna rain all week so i've gone very summery today i will see you guys tomorrow for monday's look the sun is shining again today so I've woken up in a great mood and I'm in linen again because the weather's gorgeous and I want to make the most of it like I said yesterday. So I've decided to wave my hair today because I've been wearing it straight so much and I've really missed my waves so I've just done this with the straighteners actually really quickly so I could then crack on with work but this is today's little look we've got a lovely linen shirt from MS. honestly MS's linen is so good and it's really affordable as well i just find that their quality is amazing and they're just up there with one of my favorite high street brands and they're really up in their game at the minute as well so yes go to MS for your linen basics so i got this in a size 12 because i wanted like a slightly oversized feel not too oversized like my other ones but something i could tuck into my jeans really nicely and have like a slight drop shoulder so i went with a 12 in that so yeah i would size up two two or three depending on what kind of fit you want and then I thought I'd wear jeans today because I've not styled any jeans this week. So these are my cheeky jean from Everlane and I love this wash. It's a really nice light wash for spring. And they're just so comfy and flattering. I love them. So, and they've got stretch as well. So they're really nice to wear around the house and for when I'm working too. And then I've got my Birkenstock clogs. So these clogs are so comfy. I blooming love them. And these are in the top colour. And I've been wearing them a lot around the house because they're like slippers. Honestly, love them. And I just love styling it with my jeans and a really nice linen shirt for a lovely summer vibe. Nice and casual today. Nice and airy. There we go. A lovely casual outfit for a Monday. I'm going to crack on with editing now and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday's look. Happy Tuesday. I've literally just got home now from my first wedding dress fitting appointment. Oh, it was amazing. It's so nice to finally see the dress come into life. So for those of you who don't know, I'm designing my dress with Emma Beaumont. The first meeting we had was to discuss the sketch and the fabric. So once that was finalized, then she could start on the toile. So the toile is basically the dress made up in like a thick cotton called calico. So yeah, that's what I tried on today. And we've just discussed some more design features to add to the dress. So yeah, that's so exciting. And then after that, I was walking through Nutsford and I popped into this little shop called The Bathhouse. And it's this beautiful, like vegan, sustainable fragrance brand. They do candles and diffusers and bath stuff. And I noticed it was all made in Cumbria, which is from my neck of the woods. And it all started in a little place called Sedba, which is like down the road from where my hometown is in Kendall, which is mad. So anyway, I ended up buying a diffuser, which I will show you in a minute. Lee's probably gonna kill me because 
every time I go somewhere I usually come back with a candle or a diffuser <laughs> and I've done it again um, and then after that I just went into a cute little cafe it was called the King Street Kitchen yes and then I just carried on with some editing and stuff like that got everything sent off for today and it's four o'clock and now I'm home so I'm going to show you today's outfit so I'm going to start off with the top this is from 90% and I got this in a small it's really warm today again so I wanted something really cute and summery to team with my beige jeans and then I used my Russell and Bromley tote bag this is so handy for fitting like my laptop in my camera in and all my bits for when I'm working in cafes and stuff so I took that with me today and then we've got my Zara beige jeans which I've just been living in because they've got stretching they're so comfortable and then finally got my white Birkenstocks you know I love a Birk I've now got them in beige white and black they're just so comfortable and go with everything I also took my H&M blazer with me in case it rained but it did not it was gorgeous weather all day and yeah I just really love this outfit it's really cute by the way, this was the diffuser that I was on about. So I got the new scent, which is called Spirit. So I've got bergamot, white, birch leaf, cardamom, and crushed geranium. It literally smells so fresh like a spa. So that is why I love it. But yeah, that is today's look. It's been such a nice day. I feel like I've had a lovely appointment this morning, cracked on with work, and then come back home to sunshine. Anyway, that's the end of this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon for my next one.